and it looks like we're live, and now it looks like we're live, whether we were or are, we are at this point. <clears throat> and hello, folks, and welcome to Thrash Bondo's traditional, yet at the same time special edition, Sunday Night Live chat. Thank you, all of you, for joining us tonight, even though it looks like at this time it's just me. And so I'll just sort of sit here, and we have a winner. It's Dan, the breaking news man, is here, and he says, Hi, a man of many words. Hi to you too, Dan. Thanks for joining us. And Sean Ennis is here. He says, Second. Sean seconds the motion. Watch means here. He says, Hello, everyone. Cindy D is here. He says, Hello, Thrash. Cindy, I'm so glad you could make it welcome. Lance is here. He says, Hey, Thrash. Yes, you said you'd see me in five, and you saw me. Comfortably inside that margin, Rin. And Dan says, I have a few quiz questions tonight. Can't wait to get to them. I did a uh, traditional uh, trivia game for this evening, by the way, and I tried to make it as uh, streamlined as possible. Keith Easy says, I am still banned on the local weather channel chat. <laughs> That's too funny. That is too funny. I wish they would just ban weather in my area, by the way. It was windy and rainy last night, and I was trying to have a coffin nail, and I actually, I dropped. I dropped a cigarette. By the time I picked it up, it was like a sponge. It was crazy. Only257 is here and says, hi, guys. Hi to you as well, by the way. A lot of people held saying hello to one another, and you guys are so nice. Oh, and George is here. I'm sorry, May there is. Um, I'm just gonna just call you Georgia. It's like we all know who you are, but it's so great having you back. Welcome back to the chat. Um, Christopher Wilkinson's here. He says, Good evening, Bob. Good evening to you, too. So nice to see you. Uh, what I mean says, Hello, only. Only what? Oh, I get it. You're saying hello to only. Actually, I got that. I'm just playing along as best I can. Teb is here, otherwise known as Terrell Eugene Bellinger. Says, good evening, Thrash. And let's just see. Ah, Dan says, question. What actor was on Roseanne and Facts of Life? That would have to be my wife's crush, George Clooney. He was also in a very, 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 very short-lived adaptation of um look who's talking my flock is here sister sarah oh my god sister sarah love you so glad you could make it says hi everyone zuber blacks is here says good evening zuber i wasn't trying to put you on the spot when i said i hadn't heard from you in a while i, I understand that your hands are full but thank you so 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 much for coming by tonight great to see you welcome to the party and i have a very easy trivia game for tonight although cindy and i have already started playing dance and she says george clooney as well and, um, oh, and Sarah, she's, uh, apparently we have a simulcast. Sarah is sharing out my live chat on her channel. And that's very, very kind of her. I'm so glad you could do that. Oh, and May says, oh, and Georgia says, I prefer Georgia. Well, Georgia, you've always been on my mind. So Georgia, it is. Indy Spouts is here says, hey, Bob, I feel like we haven't talked for at least four hours and 47 minutes. Gee, and it seems only four hours and 44 minutes. John Doe is here says, hello, it's me, it's me. Hello, it's me. Wasn't that a Todd Rundgren song? John, so glad you could make it. Uh-oh, we got to jump. Here, I got to make sure I don't miss anybody. Well, a lot of people saying hello to one another. I'll just skip through those. Esmeralda's here says, hello, Thrush. Esmeralda. So glad you could make it. Thank you for joining us. And uh, Zuberplex, there we go. I think, uh, yes, I have, I've actually caught up. And Dan says, I was watching BB and B last night on her channel. It was great. I am so sorry I missed her. She, that was a second live stream, and I've missed both of them. And, oh, Zuberplex says, that's fine, Teapots. Thank you so much, Zoop. I've missed both of them, but I gotta say, I love, I love what BB and B is doing. By the way, she's doing some great stuff. I love, I love the games. I love the the brain benders. Uh, absolutely great, and she was so incredibly nice, so incredibly nice to make me her feature channel um, for the last week. I've actually gotten a bunch of people from her channel to come over and visit mine. Maybe we'll see some of them tonight. Keeping her fingers crossing, but yes, I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna have to find some way of um uh finding out whether her next one is in advance so I can make sure I can make it. Uh, and let's see, but yes, uh, BBB is doing great stuff on her channel. Uh, and I'm just gonna skim through. Uh, Liz Chapin says, Thrash, good robot chat with Tug. It certainly was, it certainly was. So, D says, and George Clooney was on ER and ER two different. That's right, that's right. It wasn't one ER show, more like a comedy with Elliot Gould or something, I think, but yes, that's right, he was. Uh, my wife told me that trivia question. And um just gonna skim down here. 257 says repeated oh repeated line. I'm sorry if I missed the first one. Repeated line. James T. Kirk, be me up, Scotty. This line was never actually spoken in the television series. You are correct. Um he says something close to it once, but he never says be me up, Scotty. And he never had a Scottish accent like people usually use when they say that line. Uh, Harold the Hatter, more commonly referred to as Scott, is here, and he says, Hey, Thrash Pondo and everyone, this is Scott. Ah, you see, I gave the giveaway on my channel. Yes, by the way, you give a great update, and I'm going to be watching for that new content, if slash when um, it is in the cards you can. And the book says, Yes, I did only 257. It was entertaining. Uh, and Keithy says, And it was always winter on Hogan's Heroes. I know, right? I know. And hang on, I think I missed a few, so I'm going to back up just a bit. Oh, I actually missed quite a few. So I'm going to kind of cut through. Oh, yeah, related line. There we go. My Flux saying hi to Elsmerelda. Uh, there's Scott's comment. Other people saying hi to Scott. So it says, yes, ER was a comedy with Elliot Gould. Yeah, I, I remember it. And I, I, think, I think Jason Alexander had a recurring role as a real skeevy... Uh, corporate um, person who would come in and try to micromanage the clinic. And 207 goes on to say, Zuber, ever seen the Running Man movie? I was just talking about that. I was just talking about the Running Man the other day. Um, Actually, it was earlier today on Tug's show. Uh, we were talking about how show, uh, movies back in um, at that time frame, like um, uh, RoboCop and uh, Running Man were... They always manage to hold the mirror up to society in a comical way. Oh, look who's here. John P. Adventures is here. Says, Thrash, wishing you a blessed show and weekend. We love you very much. Uh, bless you and your family. Brother, John, thank you so, so, so much. Um, if you get a chance, guys, you got to check out John. Um, man, you had some great um, UFOs. Actually, UFOs have a different name now. UPDs, uh, UPSs. <laughs> That's another term, room. but he has some great, um, uh, cool um, UFO footage. If you guys are into that, uh, Sarah, do me a favor in addition to giving a link to your channel, could you please give links to Wajameen, um, Scott's channel, the Herald the Hatter, and of course, John P. Adventures? If you would be so so kind, and um, um, please, friends, check out their channels as well. If you haven't already. But John, thanks for coming by. It was just so awesome to see you. Welcome to the party. Oh, and there, there's uh the Hogan Heroes line. Super. Dominic Dees here says, Hey Bob. Hey everyone. Teb says, TV title rephrase trivia, a collection of information stored in a folder, cabinet, or box with the 24th letter of the alphabet. Uh the X-Files? <laughs> um, I had to count the letters for a second. Yes, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say the X Files. That's actually a good one. And John Doe just jumped off the page. John, fear not, I will find you. Um, I'm getting a little behind in the comments already, buddy. <laughs> there we go. John Doe says, "Question Thrush, when is the review of Island on the Top of the World coming out?" Um, I would say probably um, at some point this month. Um, I didn't get a chance to do it this week. I didn't get a chance to do content this week, even though I intended to. It was just um, uh, just one thing after another. Um, I'll try to get to it this week. I can't do it tomorrow. Mrs. Thresh has a day off, and we're going to be running some errands. Um, 
if not this week, probably next week, because um, number one granddaughter does not have school that week, so I, I won't be doing as many school runs so I could actually do more content during the day. So tentatively, we'll say middle of the month. Thank you. And oh, Esmeralda says, hello, handsome, two lands. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, Only57 says to Zuper, Rollerball 75, great movie. We've talked about that on several occasions. It is a great movie. Action movie, buddy flick, sports drama, uh, dystopian society. The movie really has everything. Um, uh, let's just see. Oh, my flock is, says, live long and prosper to everyone. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm probably going to call it only show. If, if, if I'm having trouble like uh, communicating, I have this weird sinus thing going on. I'm not sure if it's a sinus infection or if it's... um. A really nasty, like, uh, allergen bloom. It's been raining on Cape Cod, no, no, literally nonstop for the past couple, three weeks. So we're drowning. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to endeavor to persevere. But if you have trouble understanding me, I'll try to speak as clearly as is humanly possible. Dan says, question, what actor is on the Connors and the Lord of the Rings movies? Sean, Sean, Sean Aston, Sean Aston. That is going to be my guess. And Lynn says, "Yes, it was Scott. Very good." And uh, Cindy says, "Yes, Thrash. It was a comedy, and actress Lynn Moody was on it as well. I've seen her in other stuff too. Thank you, thank you." And two other seven says, uh, pawns here about the earth that earthquake. I did, it, it did. In fact, everybody, um, I don't know if congratulate is the right word, but everybody, <laughs> uh, John Doe was not far from it, but suffered no ill effects. So, everybody wish John Doe, uh, uh we're very happy you skated, <laughs> however you want to phrase that. But, John, we're very happy you had no ill effects from this bizarre occurrence. And I'm going to skim through, um, uh, skim down to the Germans of Cindy and Mary McDonald. Not sure who that's in reference to. Super Luke says, so T-Pons, did you trim your beard? Very, very much so. It was getting itchy and it was driving me bonkers. Unfortunately, there's so much gray in the beard now. When I crop it this close... Um, it just looks like I have shadow on my face. Uh, people think I'm buffering again. I have now. I have to let the beard grow back in. But yes, I did. I did trim it. And thank you so much for noticing. And Christopher says, "Did I tell you, Bob? I am physically handicapped. When I was five years old, I had encephalitis." Um, you did. You you mentioned that that a while back, by the way. And we're very very. Sorry. Um, you maintain it very, very well. The, the two times you've been to the restaurant, um, you seem to, um, how, should I, how should I say this? You, you seem to cope very, 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 very well. And very proud of you, I am. So um, I probably would have noticed if you hadn't said something to me. Um, very true. And Georgia says, I have The Running Man. It's a very good movie. And let's see. <laughs> Only says agreed pawns, fluffy. Uh, Lance says, oh, sorry to Ken. Zerblink says, glad to. Glad you're here too, Kenneth. Uh, very, very nice of you as well. Cindy says, who can I still do the running man? Oh, who, who can still do the running man? I couldn't at the time, but my running man days are definitely over. At the stage, Jumpy Avengers says, big hugs, always positive thresh. Hey, big hugs to you too, John. Thank you so, so much. And um, I'll keep watching that new content and then recommend everyone else do the same. And he says to Dan, the breaking news man, uh, I'm guessing Sean Austin. Yeah, that was my first thought too. That was my first thought as well. And 257 says, give me escape from New York or assault on precinct 13. Um, a... Uh, John Carpenter fan, I see. Although, can you guess what my favorite John Carpenter film is? It's not one you've mentioned. It is one we have talked about on previous shows. So you know what, guys? Guess, see if you can guess what my favorite John Carpenter 
film is. And uh, I jumped in. Well, you guys are very interactive tonight. So I'm just going to go back down and see if I can't catch up. Wow, I'm way <laughs> behind. Ah, Tibbs has got you, Thrash. Um, uh, ah, here we go. Uh, Zuplik says, oh, good to choice to do five seven. Uh, Lance cannot do the running man. Uh, John P says, blessed. Um, I'm good, thanks, Thrash. Thank you very much. Uh, Sarah says, I can't yet pawns on my phone. Hang on. Hey, don't worry. Don't, if, if you can't do it, no problem. But uh, positive vibes to all the channels uh, present here tonight. John says, Thrash, did you get uh, a earthquake experience that other day? Or it didn't affect your area? Didn't affect mine at all. We No one, no one here in my area noticed. SD says, message retracted. Message retracted to you too. Uh, Lance asks Esmeralda how she's doing. Zublik says, has anyone spoken to Ian C? Um, he was actually on the chat last week, my fourth anniversary last week. Uh, we spoke to him briefly. In fact, he asked about revenge films. I have a list of revenge films. If anyone wants to talk revenge films, I'd be happy to after the trivia game. Um, 257 says, Andero, I thought you didn't like women. Jack Driscoll, yeah, but you're not women. Planet of the Apes. Um, let's well, Sydney prove it. Uh, two months ago, King Kong. I said Plan of the Apes, didn't I? I meant King Kong. You're not going to give it to me, though, are you? <laughs> That's how my mind works. And Tim says TV title rephrase trivia, recurring to a re referring to a specific TV program about the eighth decade of the 20th century. Um, okay, that would have to be with the. Eighth decade would have to be that 70s show. Uh, Lynn says, uh, with Faye Ray, certainly. And Esmeralda just finished making dinner, French onion soup, and something as well. I love her onion soup. 257 mentions Play Nine from Outer Space. Oh, Play Nine from Outer Space is a good film. And, oh, and uh, Cheese Toast. Ooh, yummy. Uh, Dan says, Indy, that's correct. As it says, you sound the same as usual, T Ponce. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's, it's um it was worse earlier in the day, so we'll see how lucky we, we get. Oh, Keith e says that 80s show. That would be the ninth decade. <laughs> and Cindy says, I won't let you see me do it. <laughs> and um oh Sean Innes says something. Here he says, the temperature is going up and down on the East Coast, too. I'm having a similar issue uh, with uh, uh, and pounding allergy meds. That's right. The up and down doesn't help either. It was explained to me why, and I can't recall why, but I, thank you for putting that out. Uh, 207 says, uh, is this a Max Fleischer cartoon? Yes, it is. Uh, better than Clutch Cargo. Uh Oh, and Dan says, yes, that's correct, Sean Astin. Oh, and Indy Spout says, Mike's Fleischer. So he says, they say earthquake happens before a solar eclipse. How convenient. We're getting the solar eclipse up here Monday afternoon in my area. Can't wait. Um, I'm going to look at it with my binoculars. See if I can find the man on the sun. Uh, Dominic D says, I think Lynn Moody was on... That's my mama. Ooh, I haven't seen that show in years, but she may have been. Um, Isaac from Love Boat was on that. And the guy, oh, who played Sweet Daddy on Good Times, he was in that as well. And Esmeralda says, I love Italian. I make a killer spaghetti sauce. Mm, me too. And Sean says, I've encountered worse on the West Coast. And John says, as you know, Thrash, I'm in New York City, and we got hit with a 4.2 earthquake. Oh, yes, uh, uh, John, we, we again, um, and we are very, very glad you suffered no ill effects. Very, very good. And Zubalik says, we are delighted you survived, John Doe. Yes, thank you. Yes, we, we are all very relieved. And anyone else in the New Jersey, uh, New York area, um, we're very glad that you... Um, are well. 
Um, 207 says, Commissioner Gordon, by the way, Batman, have you seen millionaire Bruce Wayne? He doesn't answer the phone at his <laughs> stately manner. And Teb says, there was one time acting on the show, they talked to each other on the phone. Or actually handed the phone off to the other one. He goes, um, yes, Commissioner Gordon, I'll get Batman for you. This is Batman. Uh, Teb says, TV title rephrase trivia using... Using to refer to something bright with sunlight in the city of brotherly love at all times. I actually thought about that one myself. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. You know what? I couldn't make it work. Teb, you nailed it. Thank you. Yeah, um, for those of you who haven't been around a while, we're doing this thing I call the working titles, where you take a, a classic song and rearrange the words. Um just in into synonyms and then people have to guess what you're talking about it's actually trickier than you'd think uh so he says the hello to dominic yes she was and she left after two seasons and dan says question what actress was on the golden girls all in the family and the b arthur show you gave the game away with the b arthur show <laughs> i'm gonna guess b arthur um she of course was archie's cousin and um, two thousand seven says, "Ee!" Uh, Keith he says, "Raccoon went crazy at Hershey Park, and they tried to blame it on the earthquake. And the raccoon was warning people fat chance. Maybe it had raccoon fever. Maybe it was Rocky Raccoon." Um, I'm working with what I got. Denise Bud says, "Uh." And the Star Wars Holiday Special, yes. <laughs> and uh, Esmeralda says to Lance, I am a great cook, you can tell, by my husband's slightly expanded waistline. <laughs> and uh, Zublik says, I understand encephalitis is deadly. It can be. Yes, it, it, it can be. Um, and it only says, Indy, is that a chicken joke? It certainly is. Uh, Dominic D saying hi to Cindy. Oh, Tracy's here. He says, hey, you guys. Tracy, it is so awesome to see you. And Sarah says, sorry, on my phone. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm sure most of our channel friends already know all these channels. Oh, but again, be sure to check out B, B, and B. Um, I always get it mixed up. Brain, Bender. What do you mean? Do me a favor. Because I know you're still here. You said hello to Tracy. It's brain bender. I can never get the words in the right order. R remind me. <laughs> but um, I, I call her, it's uh, Chrissy is her name. And I call her B, B, and B because as you guys know, I assign nicknames to everyone's channel. Um, uh, skipping down. A lot of people saying hello to one another. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, skim through a little bit because I'd like to. We're almost up to eight o'clock, and I'd like to get the uh, let's do the trivia game around eight, as you guys all know. But I just jumped, so I'm gonna have to like uh, kind of skim through because there's some people here I haven't said hello to. And wow, I'm <laughs> oh, John Doe says at Thrash, yes, at Thrash, it is very good. Um, holy cow, am I behind? Whew, yeah. Uh, here we go. Yeah, a lot of people guessing B. Arthur. Uh, and he says, I'm, it can't be, I'm not crossing the road, but I'm bumped. Uh, what do you mean guess correctly? It is the thing. Uh, Dominic D guessed The Fog. Great guess. Great. I love the movie The Fog, but the, it's it's uh, The Thing. Uh, and uh, Sean Innes says, to Keith, during one of the quakes I was present for, someone had a dog and it started acting weird, then puked when the quake ended. Um, I was going to say, Sean, you're in Jersey, aren't you? 
Or are you from Jersey? You're either from Jersey or in Jersey. Oh, and that's why you said you saw worse on the West Coast. It wasn't allergy blooms. It was earthquakes. But anyway, Sean, regardless, I'm glad that you survived. No worse for wear. Zublix guessed Halloween's uh, good guess, but wrong. Uh, 207 guessed the thing or the fog. So you technically you are right. And John says people were... People here was kind of scared, but I don't know. Maybe I got numb to death because of my past. It didn't affect me like that. Very glad you weren't affected. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> says, John likes solar babies. Uh, Indy Spelt says, you fave carpenter uh, should be the thing. Otherwise, I'm guessing pod people have gotten involved. No, it's the thing. Uh, and let's just see here. I'm going to skip up. Uh, Tracy says, Robert. W says, I lived in Connecticut. I didn't. F I live in Connecticut. Didn't feel earthquake at all. Likewise on Cape Cod. And Lance says, Lance does the sitting man very well. <laughs> Instead of the running man, love it. And Keith says, Sean, the first uh, rule of liability is find something else to blame but yourself. Oh, very good. Oh, and I got the at thrash. Very good. And Sean Innocent to Dominic D. I'm in Connecticut, too. Oh, I yeah, okay, that's it, Connecticut. I knew it was somewhere in my neck of the woods. There was someone from New Jersey, but I can't think of what it was now. Uh, I felt uh, the first shake, but I'm not not the second of the evening. Um, my flex is Linz. Your blue drop links. Oh, actually, yes, that could work, too. And Pablo says... Howdy from Atlanta, fellow uh, chatters. Nostalgic pod blast. Chance, Mr. Bartell, so awesome to see you, by the way. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good show. Uh, or should I say good shows in your case. Love the content you've been putting out as late. And uh, Terrell Teb says, I heard that Ian is moving back to Utah. Oh, that's, that's awful because he doesn't really want to. Very sad. Um, and I'm, I'm going to skip through some of the people chatting with one another. Uh, a lot of people saying hi to Chance. Brogu is here. Brogu is here. So hello, everyone. Brogu, so good to see you. Face the Ace is here. Face the Ace. It is so great to see you. Face the Ace, by the way. Um, were you uh, one of the folks that came from BB&B? &B? Um, Chrissy sent me a bunch of folks. I can't remember if you're one of them or if you're just here independently. But Face the Ace, very um, welcome to our little fellowship. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and says hello. He, Face the Ace goes on to say hello to everyone. And oh, Dan is here. Dan, uh, um, the Daily Dan blog is here. Says greeting from North Carolina. Dan, excellent. Perhaps you could give us a few links. If you could give us links for, let's see if I remember them all. Uh, for Chance Martell, the Nostalgic Pod Blast, Wajameen, Sister Sarah, John P. Adventures, and, oh, I feel like I'm missing one. Well, we'll start with that. Oh, and your channel as well, of course. And that would be awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Chance has mess ret retracted a message. Um, message retracted to you, too, by the way. A lot of people saying hello to Face. Oh, and Tracy. Tracy as well, please. And, okay, Lance, that's two messages from Podbless you uh, you deleted there. Um, let the man speak. <laughs> and 207 says, the Jaws movie, excellent. Um, Sarah says, I'm live tomorrow for the eclipse. That should be awesome sauce. That should be amazing. And uh, 257 says, Ghostbusters. Oh, Lance, that's the third message you uh, you deleted. I don't know if you timed a uh, chance out or not, but come on, dude. Uh, undo, please. Uh, Orca um, from uh, Zuplex. Excellent. Uh, and he's about to says, uh, Moonraker. These are all great action movies. Um, but yeah, um, Orca is a great revenge movie. It really, really is. Um, uh, Esmeralda says, uh, Live for the Eclipse sounds great. Indeed, it does. And uh, John says, getting ready for the solar eclipse coming. Uh, yes, I think everyone is, at least in my area. And face the ace says, hey, to pod blast. Ooh, Zublik says, Unforgiven. That's a great revenge film. Um, 
Edlin says, Chance, why are the cards talking so long? Not sure. Uh, taking so long. Why the, why, the, why are the cards taking so long? Hmm, not sure. Not sure. Uh, let's skip up here. Uh, Tracy says, Lynn Moody played Tracy on uh, ER. And Teb says, TV title rephrase trivia things that uh, unite a group of people related to one another. Things that unite a group of people. Friends? That's just going to be my guess. Uh, ooh, Zubalik said Little Big Man. Yeah, there's actually a bunch of different revenges going on in that one. And John Doe says, I have my solar eclipse glasses since 2017. Last eclipse. I remember that one. I remember that one. And Face Ace is laughing. I'm not sure at what, but I'm sure it was something funny. And Sydney says, uh, Theodore Wilson was play oh, plays Isaac Hayes in the Love Boat movie. Ted Lang replaced him in the show. They both started That's My Mama. That is a wonderful fun fact. Cindy, I'm, I'm going to use that one. That is a great fun fact. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, and uh, my flock can now give us links. Awesome, awesome. Don't forget to one for a pod blast. And Alance, seriously, <laughs> untime out chance, whatever whatever he's saying. We, we, we need to un untime him out. And uh, Indy's belt says, I feel like our blathering has completely outstripped Bob's speech reading abilities. Not completely. Not completely. It's certainly testing them. And Lance says, Sarah, I can't drop links, okay? Oh! Well, uh, no, no worries. Uh, thanks. Anywho. I can't either. 207 says, Pod plus one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Zublik says, for a few dollars more. Yeah, pretty much anything in the way of the um, Man With No Name saga. The Good Night, The Ugly is definitely a revenge film. Uh, pretty much, I think they all are. Edith's cousin, thank you. I said Archie's. I knew that didn't sound right. Edith's cousin, thank you so much. <clears throat> and 207 says, Pod Blast, ever see the G.I. Joe movie? From the guys, I, I have it. Oh, Kevin Scott 76 is here. Awesome. He says, hey, Thrash, recovering from playing cello for several hours yesterday. And opera and two musicals. Ouch. And I'm going to skip through here. A lot of people sing a little one another. Oop. Oh, I was almost caught up. Ooh, almost, almost. Um, but I'm going to skip down for just a second. Uh, oh, oh, Pod Bless Hey says, I only react when I make a spelling error. It was me. Well, at least we can get you into the record. Oh, Lance is saying sorry to Chance. <laughs> there you go. Well, he's back in the game. Now, give me a second. I'm just going to go back to where we left off, which is holy cow. You know, <laughs> Perhaps you have outstripped me. Um... Let's just see. Well, th there's uh, the link. Uh, I'm going to skip down. Uh, Brogu says, oh, hello to um, Georgia. Keithy says, Thrash is brain, uh, brain banters. Oh, I'm sorry. Brain benders banter. Thank you. Brain benders banter is Chrissy's channel. So please check out Brain Bender's Banter uh, is what I was uh, driving at before. Still behind T-Pons. I know. Sarah Gilly says Sarah's been helping out BB&B &B an awful lot. Well, she's a, a great person. She helps everybody a, a lot. Um, uh, and to, um, to uh, don't watch Catwoman on the Moon. <laughs> And Zubilic says, how was it Lance did unapologetic uh, monopolize the conversation as usual? Yuck, yuck. <laughs> and Sean says, I'm in Connecticut but lived in L.A. The biggest uh, I experienced was in 92, 7.3, but it was out near Big Bear still uh, a real good shake at 6 a.m. And they have to shock around 10 a.m. Crazy. And Teb says, oh, another rephrase. Upscale Los Angeles suburb with a zip code Beverly Hills 90210. And a lot of people got that one. 
And my folks says, Lance, hit some name and go channel, uh, got to channel link copy. It then drop down here in the chat. Oh, very good. And Keith Lee says 7.55 at this point. Wow, I'm 10 minutes behind. I'm 10 minutes behind, but I'm going to race through. Dumb D says, how about The Invisible Man starring David McCallum from the 70s? Um, I don't think I really watched that show. I, I remember. I don't really watch it. Um, my thought is anybody who's blue can, should help pawns. Drop links in teamwork family. Uh... Uh, I'm just going to skip through. John Doe says, a uh, like of craziness is going on about the upcoming solar eclipse. Birds aren't real. <laughs> no, they're mocking jays. And Danny says, hey. And Wajimi is laughing at BBB. And WD says, uh, yep, I like it. Didn't last long, unfortunately. And oh, here we go. I only react. Did Pablo says I only react when I make a spelling error? It was me. No problem. No problem. And I'm just gonna kind of skip through because I, I've, I've got to get to the uh, trivia. So, oh, Harold the Hatter says Thresh Pondo Pons. I know this is off topic. Doing the movie stuff from the stream earlier today. As we do this, just wanted to let you know I found a link to a free version of Wizards for everyone. Oh, that is awesome. That's a, Please drop the link. Um, I actually own Wizards on DVD, but thank you for the link. And uh, oh, oh, look who's here. Speak of the devil. Tug is here. He says, hello, Bob. And all. Oh, Kevin's got 76 says, hey, Thresh. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> this is where we came in. By God, I might actually be almost caught up. And, uh-oh. Nope. Uh, Podblast says... I have Terminex coming tomorrow to spray for bugs as a preventative measure. My flock have to put babies somewhere out of the house when they spray. Very stressful. Melissa Foster is here. It says, I thrash Pondo and to all. It's finally a clear night. Clouds are gone. I know that this lack of like clear sky has been getting to me. And Stephen Tevis says, goof up. And a goof up to you too, by the way. Welcome to the party, Stephen Tevis. And let's just see what else we got going on here. I'm just kind of backing through. Oh, he says, hello, all. And hello to you, too, Steve. Welcome. And Andy Smith says, I was almost caught up. <laughs> uh, th thanks, Bob. I needed that. <laughs> and um, Sidney D says, Ted Lang was the only love built star who directed Lang, uh, Capel, and Gritty all wrote for the show. No kidding. I did not know that. I did not know that. And, oh, and this is the one I wanted to get from Sean Ennis. Ted was the revenge film uh, thing last week. I know I listed High Plains Drifter. Yep, definitely. Nevada Smith, uh-huh. And an old TV movie with Stockard Channing called The the Girl Most Likely 2 from the 70s. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that one, but I'm sure it counts. And uh, hello, hello again to Melissa Foster and Steve Tevis. And Lisa Fields is here. It says, hi. Um... Oh, Stephen left of the sudden and says, now I'm here. Steve, so glad you could make it. I'm really skimming down now. If I miss anyone's comments, please forgive me. Oh, I have to read this one, though, from um, Tracy, who says, friend of mine who lives in Waco was saying that they've declared an effective emergency or declared an active emergency for tomorrow because of the eclipse. I'm like, wow. Yeah, I know, really. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I'm actually caught up. Well, almost. I'm just going to skim down. Um, Shannon says to Tracy, and Moore also declared a state of emergency in Alabama. No kidding. My thoughts dropping links. Great. Thank you. Uh, Sidney says, we need a love boat trivia trash. I'm on it. I will do that. I promise you. Steve says, uh, I am in Indiana. Uh to see the clips. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Keith, he says, Steve, in case you didn't miss it, I, I can you put Thrash on your homepage one more time. Oh, thank you. Yes, that'd be very, very nice of you. And um, India. Uh, yeah, I actually, I think I auto-corrected that. Indiana. Uh, trivia, trivia. It, it, give me just once. I'm almost caught up. Um, I love the girl most likely, too. Um... Indy Smith says, I've read Nightfall by Asimov. I know it's coming. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a kick? Oh, my gosh. I never even thought of that. 
The uh, says people are going solar eclipse crazy. And Pablo says, I am actually excited about the DVD set that arrived today from Amazon. The Waltons, the movie collection on DVD, never seen them. Me TV just aired them last regular episodes. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, episode one. Uh, Cindy says Eclipse will be 87% where I am. Excellent. And uh, Sarah says, I've got another call. No, no, I'm sorry. And Life says, uh, Steve says, does Dave Sundstrom still do live streams? Very rarely, very rarely. And they're usually members only. And Tree says, the Eclipse will be 70% here in Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, Indy Spout says uh, to Steve, what a coincidence that I, I'm in Indiana, but I, but to do anything, but watch the eclipse. Uh, Lisa Field says to Cindy, "Cool, I don't think I will see much." And you know what, guys? Oh, and uh, Danny's given us another link. Danny, thank you so so much. And I'm gonna read this last comment by Tracy, and then I'm gonna start the trivia. A friend and art uh, uh, lunchtime. Are going up to the roof. Um, are, are parting. I, I, I can't. It's moving too fast. All right, just I, <laughs> guys, you're killing me. You're killing me. A friend and oh, here we go. A friend and I at lunch are going up on the roof of our parking garage at the job. We are going to have lunch whilst looking at the sun. I brought enough glasses to share. Oh, and oh. And uh, Kevin from the uh, entertainment headquarters is here. Kevin, so glad you could be. He says hello. There. Now, if I've missed anyone else, um, let me just make sure. Someone else. Yeah. Okay, no one else has popped in. It's um, basically just us right now. Um, if someone's come in and I haven't said hello to them, um, consider yourself greeted. Because it's actually um, almost, uh, well, it's after 10 past and I haven't started the trivia. And as always, I'm going to read them in no particular order. And it's just general information now. So I'm going to start, as always, with number 10. Because it's never in any particular order. Uh, number 10. What is the true name of TV alien, Alf? Is it A, Trevor Ockmonic, B, Gordon Shumway, C, Wiz Wizard Davies, or D, Pete Finnegan. I shall repeat. A, Trevor Rockmonic. B, Gordon Shumway. C, Wizard Davies. Or D, Pete Finnegan. And, oh, I'm actually getting a couple of non-correct answers. But the overwhelming majority of you did get it. It is, in fact, B, Gordon Shumway. So, yes, B, Gordon Shumway. And I'm going, I'm going to move on to question nine. This actor was known as the king of the miniseries back in the day. Was it Richard Chamberlain, B, Richard Crenna, C, Barry Boswick, or D, Jan Michael Vincent? I shall repeat. This actor was known as the king of the miniseries back in the day. Was it A, Richard Chamberlain, B, Richard Crenna, C, Barry Boswick, or D, Jan Michael Vincent? Let's just see. I want, to, I want to make sure. I, I should have left a little bit more of a gap between the two. I want to make sure people are actually giving the correct uh, responses to nine and not ten. But yes, Richard Chamberlain. Um, uh, the Shogun being the biggie. Also, um, Thornbirds. And I, I believe there was more, but those were his two biggies. And I love both of them, to be honest with you. All right, I'm going to give another minute. Let's just see what we get going on here, too. I, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything, by the way. You guys have been just all over the chat tonight, by the way, which which is great. But I'm always afraid I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to miss something, and someone's going to feel slighted. 
So uh, again, if I did miss anybody, a thousand apologies. But anyway, moving on now to number eight. Number eight is this sci-fi icon had his own anthology series from 1985 to 1992. Was it A, Richard Matheson, B, Ray Bradbury, C, Stephen King, or D, Kurt Vonnegut Jr.? Oh, <laughs> Kenneth says I was thinking of Shogun. Yes, when it's done, we have to do our retrospect on it. Uh, the Count of Monte Cristo and his Revenge on the Earl of Sandwich. I was actually working on that as a revenge film. <clears throat> I was going to do The Count of Monte Cristo, and he got his revenge on the Earl of Sandwich. Originally, I intended to do a revenge film trivia, and um, you had to pick who the person um, th that the star was getting their revenge on. Actually, that could be fun. That could be fun. Um, I might do that down the road. But anyway... Yes, B, Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury, Ray Bradbury Theater. And moving on now to number seven. More than 78 million viewers tuned in to watch the series finality of this crime drama. Was it A, Perry Mason, B, The Avengers, C, The Untouchables, or D, The Fugitive? Oh my gosh! You see, this is why I keep checking the comments. Emily's here. She says, "Hey y'all, Emily, how you doing? This so awesome for you to come by tonight. Uh, hello." And I shall repeat: more than seventy-eight million viewers tuned in to watch the series finale of this crime drama. A. Perry Mason. B. The Avengers. C. The Untouchables. Or D. The Fugitive. And a lot of people are saying, hi, Emily. No, the answer is not, hi, Emily. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but I'll, I'll, the, the correct answers are pouring in, so I'll, I will let them continue. Oh, and Pablo has even got the date right. Very, very good. And uh, um, let's just see what's going on here. I'm going to give one more minute. Oh, uh, Pablo says, today, Tuesday, August 29th, 1967, in the USA, September 5th in Canada, is where the final uh, finale of The Fugitive aired. And, oh, uh, Emily, um, commiserations. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Commiserations. Um, I wish there was more I could say or do, but. Again, we're very, very sorry. Um. Oh, and uh, yes, the fugitive. I, I think I've already given it away. The fu the fugitive was, in fact, uh, the show in question. Now, number six. And after number six, we'll get scores. By the way, oh, in, in case you're wondering, <laughs> one of the cool things about not being caught up is you can actually stick the column to where you want it to be while you're reading the questions. When you're actually caught up, it scrolls faster. So you're trying to read as it's moving. And it's just uh, not as always effective. But anyway, we'll get scores after this one. Roy Clark and Buck Owens hosted this show, which premiered in 1969. Was it the Nashville edition, Hee Haw, uh, C. Hoedown, or D. The Buckaroos? I shall repeat. Roy Clark and Buck Owens hosted this show, which premiered in 1969. Was it A, the Nashville edition, B, Hee Haw, C, Hoedown, or D, the Buckaroos? And give me a second. Actually, you guys all got it. Yes. Yes, it's B, hee haw. And now let's get some scores. And uh, let's just see. Emma says, 
Whoever gets this wrong needs a timeout. <laughs> okay, Tracy's four of five. Brogo is five of five. Wajabin is five of five. Sean Ennis is four for five. Sydney loved hee haw. Tug is five for five. Uh, Scott is five for five. Uh, Emily Miller is two for two because she, she got here late. Well, you can always do the first three in replay, but we'll give it to you. Uh, Scott says, finally. Um, oh, thank you for the uh, the link, uh, Sarah. Uh, Lisa got five. Cindy got five. Kevin Scott Smith got three of five. Uh, um, uh, Chance got five of five. Georgia got five of five. Indy Spout says, Bubs are picking, and I'm a, a grinning. Ah, and I'm a grinning. Five for five. Now I, it's a reference to hee haw. I'm sorry, it took me a second. I used to watch that show with my uncles when I was a kid. It's been a while. Um, Dan is five for five. First time I've gotten it. Very good. Dominic D is five for five. Melissa is five for five. Emily says, I never watch replays. I prefer the live chats. You mentioned that before, Emily. And I'm sorry, you mentioned that before. Um, so. That you know, it, it's it's so funny. There there is something you you just feel like you're missing something when you watch a live chat and replay because you want to respond, and it's no point because it's not live. So I more than understand, but thank you, uh, Kevin says thank you for sharing my channel's link. Oh, Kevin, it was my pleasure. Thank you, uh, and uh, Esmeralda says to Pablas, you have an advantage. You are the master of this type of trivia. He really is. He really is. Uh, B, B, and B is really good, too, by the way. Uh, and 2007 is 5 for 5. And then says, go, Dan! And Kevin says, uh, I'm 3 out of 5, LOL. And that's good. That's very, very good. And Steve says, I have to leave. I can't be in a club that would have someone like me for a member. Um, would it help if I banned you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Steve. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by. It was great having you with us. And uh, as it says, the offspring are always meant to outlive the parents. Otherwise, the alternative would be a tragedy. Cherish the memory and mourn the passing. That was a very well stated sentiment, Zuplex. Uh, thank you. Very kind. And uh, Emily says, been on the other end too, Zuper. <laughs> yes. Oh, I remember that story. Oh, Emily. Emily's life has had her unfair share of disadvantages. And we're all very, very sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. Um, you're a very, very strong person, stronger than I am. I can certainly tell you that. And, uh, oh, Kevin says, uh, watching the Fugitive movie made me feel better when I was sick. Oh, and Kevin says, Sarah, I will try and be there Monday, okay? Um, Oh, is that what you're going on next, Sarah? Monday? Awesome. Awesome. And um, uh, thank you for pointing that out, Lance. Thank you. And uh, Ed Kevin says, I will be doing a live, a, a live stream in May that's going to be dedicated to the legendary MonsterVerse. Oh, that sounds like a blast. And, oh, Ezra says, was that Groucho Marx? It certainly was. It certainly was. And... Uh, Emily says, I'm just coasting through life. Uh, take care of yourself, Emily. Please, please take care. We're all pulling for you. And I wish there was more I could do. Let's do the second half of the trivia, though. Question five. The rival power featured in the Man from Uncle TV series was referred to as A, Thrush, B, Chickadee, C, Goon, or D, Yellow-bellied sapsuckers. I shall repeat. The rival power featured in the Man from Uncle TV series was referred to as A. Thrush, B. Chickadee, C. Goon, or D. The Yellow-bellied sapsucker. You know, we used to have a lot of um rabbits running all around the woods here over by Ponds' Pond and all that. And then this sort of, like, clutch of goony birds Showed up, and of course, as you guys know, um, they they eat rabbits. So now we have all these goonie birds around, and no bunnies. Man, it was like hare today, goon tomorrow. Hare today, goon tomorrow. Oh, and he says, 
I will get, oh, it will get easier, I'm assuming. It will get easier. I lost both my parents in the last 10 years. Memories are meant to be cherished. Very, very kind of you to say that. Uh, oh, Emily says, but I like D belly. D better. I like D better. Um, my sister Jenny Lou isn't here tonight, but she will attest. Our grandfather, uh, Daddy Gramps, um, <laughs> was something of a character. And he used to love to like like take like these nature walks. And anytime he'd see a bird, he this man, he looked like Burr Lives. But he he talked more like oh, like Jim, Jim, Jimmy Stewart, right? you kind of like Robbie, come talk to Daddy Grams, come talk to Daddy Grams wants to talk to you. And so so anyway, we'd be out in the bird watching. I mean, you see you see that bird over there? You said, you know what that is? Yeah, yeah. You know what that bird is? I say yellow belly sap sucker. A yellow belly. Any bird. It could be um, uh, a robin redbreast. It could be a blue jay. It could be a seagull. Uh, that's a that's a yellow belly sap sucker. A yellow bone stop sucker, which is why I use that. And um, I <laughs> should probably get the answer to the comments there. Um, uh, uh, a thrush, and it looked like most of you got that one too. And um, oh, by the way, I got most of these questions out of a uh, a magazine of TV trivia, and it seems like you guys are having a lot more fun with this. So um, I might do this more often. Although I am doing that. Um, Love Boat trivia. I'll probably have that for next week. And Oh, Kevin said something important here. Hang on. Oh, Lynn says, both of my parents are gone. Mom, Nandi, and my dad in 2007. It sucks. I still miss them. And Lynn's uh, commiserations, man. I'm very, very, very sorry for you. Oh, Mrs. Thrash says hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, I should say hello to everyone from Mrs. Thrash. And Kevin says, I have had a YouTube account since 2014, but it was uh, more so I... Oh, it's jumping again. Hold on. It was, <laughs> there we go. It was more so like most of us to like and comment on content. I was inspired to turn it uh, into an entertainment-based channel starting in October. That's that's pretty much what my origin story was, too. A lot of people, I think, did that. And uh, Indy Spout says, it's like Jimmy Stewart on on, on, on speed. Uh, yeah, yeah, he he he, he, he kind of did the fact a little fact uh, talk a little faster than uh, than Jimmy Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and everyone's saying hi to Mrs. Thresh. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, and Jen says, my mom and dad are both gone twenty five years now. For my mom, uh, she was only sixty one. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so sad. I'm very sorry. And. Oh, Mr. Foster also said Mrs. Thrash. Oh, and Sarah's giving us a link. Thank you very much. Moving on, number four. I want a chance if you're here. I know you'll know this one. Uh, number four. This cool but unconvincing parasitic alien featured in the first aired episode of Star Trek. First aired episode of Star Trek. Was it A, the salt vampire? B, the carbuncle? C, the, um, oh, <laughs> the sodium werewolf, <laughs> or D, the blood beast. And I shall repeat that. That was fun. This cool but unconvincing parasitic alien featured in the first aired episode of Star Trek. A, the salt vampire. B, the carb uncle. See what I did there? Uh, C, the sodium werewolf, or D, the blood beast. Doug says, the man trap. Well, that's the name of the episode, but it was colloquially uh, referred to something. In fact, if you if you can find the old Mego um, ad for it, they actually use this, even though it's an unofficial name. Uh, obviously, C, I love it. Kevin's got 76 is yes, a man trap slash the salt vampire. Uh oh <laughs> my mug says Star Trek is the best. It certainly is. Uh yes. Um it was labeled it, it, this is this is funny. It's one of the few times where they didn't actually bother to name the monster. So salt vampire was actually added after the fact. Uh for the I believe I believe it was for the toy line. Um uh, but it may have actually come from like uh, fan um, folk uh, chatter. 
But yes, the salt vampire. Number three. This famous musician guest starred in the pilot episode of this series. What? Hang on. I didn't give the name of the series in the question. I'm getting forgetting my old age. I will on the fly rephrase the question. This famous see, I, I, like I said, I had to borrow them, so I had to reword them a little bit. This famous musician guest starred in the pilot episode of Miami Vice. Was it A. Phil Collins? Oh, give me one more chance because this is actually an important part. This famous musician uh, starred in the pilot of this series, which was named after one of his songs. I, I think I, I think I got distracted and stopped right at the question when I was making it. Was it A. Phil Collins, B. Uh, Jackson Brown, C. Glenn Fry, or D. Uh, Gangmaster Graham, Grandmaster uh, uh, Melee May, Melee Mel, Grandmaster Melee Mel. I am all over the place in this one. You know what? Everyone just give yourself a point. No, I'm going to try one more time to read this question in as coherent order as possible. <clears throat> Number three. Well, so far, so good. This famous musician guest starred in the pilot of Miami Vice. Named after one of his songs. And the choices are A, Phil Collins, B, Jackson Brown, C, Glenn Fry, or D, Grandmaster Mele May. Mele Mel. I was so close. So close. And I choked. I gobble, 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 choke, 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 cock, cock, cock. But anyway, I'm sure you guys got enough information to at least get through. Dominic D says Ted Nugent guest starred on. Later episode of Miami Vice. He also guest starred in uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. He plays a crazy person with a crossbow. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, not to give you. Oh, and, uh, Emily says that's what matters, Kevin. Um, uh, but yes, uh, the correct answer. Uh, is, of course, uh, Glenn Fry, and the name of the episode was Smuggler's Blues. You know why it wasn't Smuggler's Reds? It's because the blues bring him down, daddy -o. Number two. What was the name of Gomer Pyle's cousin played by George Lindsay? Was it A. Goober, B. Gruber, C. Brandon, or D. Kyle? I shall repeat. What was the name of Gomer Pyle's cousin played by George Lindsay? Was it A. Goober, B. Gruber, C. Brendan, or D. Kyle? Oh, and Lindsay, I just caught a, a little glimpse of... D please don't feel bad about d uh, dropping links. I didn't realize. Um, I can't do it either. <laughs> so don't... You know, trust me. I judge no one who can't drop links. I've actually tried. Dan's walked me through it a couple of times. Every time I try, I gaff. It's like reading a question. I just It's beyond my wheelhouse. Um, and wow, you guys are joining the spot with this one. Yes, it was oh, Hans Gruber. <laughs> Doug, I love it. Yes, of course, it was Goober. Of course, Goober. And moving on to number one. And anyone who doesn't get this one. Harvey Corman voiced the helpful alien featured in later seasons of the Flintstones. Was it A, Nimbus the Great, B, the Great Kazoo, C, Professor Og, or D, Dr. Pakwak? I repeat, Harvey Corman voiced this helpful alien featured in later seasons of the Flintstones. A, Nimbus the Great, B, Great Kazoo, C, Professor Og, or D, Dr. Pakwak? Oh, look who's here. Individual Minds, what did you sneak in? Oh my gosh, so awesome to see you. Thank you. Sadly, we're just about to wrap things up here. So that's <laughs> like, you made it towards the very, very end of the trivia again. Um, but um, so nice of you to make it. So glad you could. Uh, welcome. Welcome. And, and he says, the great gazoo, damn autocorrect. I know, really. 
Oh, and uh, individual mind says it, uh, it's all good. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, let's just see. Oh, yeah, uh, Tracy. Yes, let's let's do scores. Tracy's score was nine of ten. Individual minds is one of one. That's a hundred percent. Uh, <laughs> Kevin's got seventy six. Is Millie Vanilli. <laughs> uh, Sean is eight of eight for ten. Brug was ten for ten. Yay! Very impressive. Excellent. Uh, Dan says, uh, I got 10 for 10 first time in the Pawns history. Very, very proud of you. Zublex is 7 for 10. Uh, Tug is 10 for 10. Uh, Emily says, Kazoo, apparently my phone prefers uh, to call him Gazoo. Um, we'll go with Gazoo. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Wajibin is 10 for 10. Excellent. Uh, in, uh, Indy says... Uh, LOL. Uh, Lucy Fields is nine. I'm guessing of ten. Cindy D is ten for ten. Very proud of you. Uh, Melissa Foster nine for ten. Very, very, very good. Kevin Scott seventy six is uh, five for ten. Solid. Uh, George is ten for ten. Excellent. Uh, Scott is eight for ten. Excellent. WD is ten for ten. Very, very good. Uh, Indy Spence is ten for ten. By the way, Bob Smugglers Blues wasn't the pilot. It was in the middle of the first season. Um. Like, you know, I, I think what I was doing, I must have gotten distracted while I was writing that question, clearly, because I had no idea when I first saw it. So I, I, I may have mixed up two questions. I, I did something wrong, but uh, thank you. But yes, Glenn Fry was um, the person I was looking for. So if you ended up getting it, it's all good for you, too. Oh, uh, Mama Thrash also says hi. Gee, it's like Grand Central Station here. Yes, Mama Thrash says hello to everyone. Everybody say hi to Mama Thrash. And uh, Teb is uh, two for ten. And, oh, and uh, let's just see what we got going here. Emily says, I got them all correct. However, uh, many uh, I came for in on. Uh, Keith is uh, five out of ten. Uh, Dan says, I have a, a dream. I'm not sure. Uh, Audrey says, I'm going to run. Have a nice night. No worries. No worries. In fact, oh, sweet dreams, Tracy. That's very kind of you. In fact, uh, oh, uh, Indy Spot says, I did something wrong. The title of Bob's smash autobiography, everyone's talking about, oh, cursory, uh, well, <laughs> cursory investigation. Cursory research is the name of my autobiography, cursory research. <laughs> and everyone's saying hi to Mama Thrash. Lucy Cindy is so far. Um, anyway, like I say, um, we actually ran a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, and there's no problem there. Again, you guys are very, very interactive. And I want to thank you for that. And again, again, if I missed anyone's anyone's comments, um, other than like people saying hello to one another, if I missed anyone's comments, um, please a thousand apologies. Um, I do my best. Indy says it best, you know. Um, we outstrip Pons' ability to read, particularly on the fly. But anyway, I want to thank you guys all so, so, so much. I had an absolute blast tonight. Um, and again, Cindy, I plan on me doing um, the Love Boat uh, trivia next week. So be sure, be sure to watch all the episodes between them and now to, to brush up on your knowledge. Oh, I have to read this question from Dan. Dan's question is, what actress was in the movie Mask uh, and Mannequin and on the TV show Empty Nest? Mask. Mannequin. Oh, yes. Oh. I can see her plain as day. Kim Cattrall? Why does that not sound right to me? I'm going to say Kim Cattrall. Um, uh, but again, oh, uh, Chant, be safe, all yes. Thank you very, very, very much. And he's not just Estelle Getty. Uh, oh, it was Estelle Getty, huh? Yeah, I, I did, I wouldn't have known that. Oh, but uh, what do you mean? Guess the same thing, Kim Cattrall. Excellent, excellent. Oh, Kevin says, I love the love boat, <laughs> me too. And uh, Kevin says, once again, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Kevin. It was great having you with us. And Cindy says, good night to Kenneth. Um, Anyway, and again, good night to all of you guys. Um, again, I I will try to have uh, something content related out by the end of this week. I'm gonna try. Maybe that um, island in the world, island in the world, island at the top of the world. Maybe that. Not sure. Um, but we will definitely have another live chat next uh, Sunday. Same bat time. 
And until then, be good, be safe, be careful. One last time, Emily, and I, and I don't want to make too much out of this, but Emily, uh, commiserations. Take care of yourself. We're all pulling for you. We're all sending you positive vibes. But anyway, again, be good, be safe, be careful. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all again very, 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 very soon. Peace.